At this point, I feel like we just review so many monitors on our channel, so why not do another one? So this is a new monitor from MSI. We actually have the uh, previous version of this one. If you saw about two or three weeks ago, Josh upgraded his setup with a 49 inch monitor from MSI, and then he used the previous model of this on top. Sadly, we will not be keeping this monitor in our house. We already own so many monitors in our house. I don't think we need any more. So this is just gonna be an unboxing. We'll play some games on it, test out some of the features. Let's get into the unboxing. So this is the MSI Mag 34 One CQP. It's a budget focused 34 inch ultra wide using a quad HD QD OLED panel with 175 Hertz refresh rate, as well as a 0.03 millisecond response time. This looks a lot different than the previous model that we have. A box within a box. Then we've got the actual monitor. Josh, could you come grab the box off the table? <laughs> All right, so first impressions of the monitor outside of the box. This definitely looks different than the one that we have here. The one that we showed you has like the gold accents on the back and that is because this is the budget friendly version so you don't get all of the gold accents. But I wouldn't say that's really a deal breaker because how often are you looking at the back of your monitor anyways? You know what I mean? It's always facing the wall. I still like the design they went with. It's clean, it's minimal. Now that we have unboxed the monitor, let's go ahead and talk about the specs. So this monitor is part of MSI's mag lineup. This line is mainly focused around functionality. So you get all the essentials at a very reasonable price point without all the unnecessary extra stuff like fancy aesthetics. With a renewed QD OLED panel, 175 hertz refresh rate, along with a 0.03 millisecond response time and a resolution of 35 440 by 1440 p it's an ideal combo of specs the immersion you get from such vibrant colors along with perfect blacks is a game changer for single player games and this monitor comes with multiple vesa certifications as well for display hdr true black 400 along with clear mr 9000 this is essentially just a somewhat standardized scale to determine how well the monitor can display black levels as well as motion clarity these new models from msi also come with oled care 2.0 so if you're worried about burn-in the monitor will automatically take care of things with pixel refresh Refreshes, and there's also a three year burn in warranty for extra peace of mind. And the graphene film with a custom heat sink helps to keep everything nice and cool without the need of additional fans, so it's silent as well. And for the extra bonus, you get things like a KVM switch and night vision AI to intelligently boost dark areas for more detail. Anyway, enough on specs, let's take it for a spin. All right, now that we've gone over all these specs of the monitor, it is time to install it into the setup. Now, if you saw my setup build, you might notice that I no longer have the monitor arm that I used to have on my desk. I've I've now moved to having the mounts directly on the wall because when I had it on the arm, it came too far out at my desk and I just felt like it was too close to my face. So having it mounted on the wall definitely adds a little bit more separation that I prefer, but let me give you guys a closer look of it. All right, so this is the current wall mount that I'm using. I got it off Amazon. So if you're interested in it, we will put it in the description for you. But this is the back of it that we need to go install onto the new monitor and we'll get it up in the setup. All right, so I've already gone ahead and booted up Horizon Forbidden West. Now this game was exclusively on PlayStation for the longest time and they recently brought it over to PC and right away, just looking at the colors on this monitor because it is an OLED, they look fantastic. The blacks look inky black, the colors look vibrant. Now I've been using a OLED monitor for the past year now and I don't think I could ever go back to a non OLED monitor specifically for games like this that are single player open world adventure games. The colors, especially when it gets like dark, the blacks look so good at night. Like everything just seems to pop so well. Like look how nice this looks right here. Just the glow coming off of these statues and the moon in the background just looks fantastic. Something else I want to talk about is the curve of this monitor. So this is an 1800R curve and I feel like that's the sweet spot, especially for me. Some people might like more of a curved monitor that has a little bit more of a dramatic curve. Personally, I don't really like that because I use my monitor for everyday stuff like gaming, editing, watching movies or watching videos on YouTube. And I feel like when it's that deep of a curve, sometimes it's just a little too much for me. Some people love it. Josh likes monitors like that, but I just feel like the 1800 is it 
a really good spot. Another thing that I see a lot of people talk about when it comes to OLED monitors is the glossiness of the monitor. I personally don't feel like that's a bad thing. I think that the glossiness helps the colors pop more instead of like a, a matte finish that you can find on some of the monitors. But now that we've uh, played this game for a little bit, I think we will hop over and play some Fortnite because they just came out with the new map recently. I've been meaning to check that out. It's time to play some of Fortnite. Now, since this is a 175 hertz monitor, it will be great for playing duos with Josh. And it looks like my Fortnite crew renewed and I didn't realize it. And we've got some new skins to try out. So let's go ahead and hop into the game. All right, where are we dropping, Mr. Josh? <gasps> we've got the wings, no freaking way. Oh my God, oh my God. I've got the wings. Now, I would primarily recommend this monitor for people that like to play single player games, but we play a lot of FPS games, especially Fortnite, and our 34 inch monitors have been great, especially since this one is a uh, 175 hertz refresh rate and it's got the 0.03 millisecond response time. It is perfect for this. Now, typically when we're playing Fortnite, we have a whole crew we play with, so there's usually like four of us in here having a pretty good time. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so cool! See if there's anybody here. There. He's down. Oh, his friend's right there. The graphics are looking great on the monitor. Right now I'm getting about 170 FPS, so that is good. I think there's someone on our tail. It was at this moment he knew he ranked up. This is the last game that we're going to check out. This is Doom Eternal, and it is one of my favorite games to play. I know that might sound surprising, but I freaking love the blood, the gore. Everything that's in this game is fantastic. So let's go ahead and hop in. Wow, already the game looks so good. Oh my God, this is why I love this game. It's so good. Right off the bat, the game seems super smooth. Everything looks great. God, everywhere you look in this game, there's always something interesting to look at. I think that's why I fell in. Oh my God, I'm dying. No, I didn't mean to do that. I definitely feel like for the price point of this monitor, you definitely get everything that you could ask for out of it. Now the monitor that Josh has in his setup, that one has a fan in it, whereas this one has passive cooling, so it's quiet. Oh my God, so freaking good. Oh my God. Ooh, that was intense, man. Wow, all those games looked fantastic on this monitor, especially Horizon Forbidden West. I'm definitely gonna have to put a few more hours into that game because it looked amazing. Now, if you're interested in picking up this monitor that we reviewed today, you can find it down below in the description. And honestly, I would highly recommend picking up an OLED monitor. If you've been thinking about it and you haven't been sure if you wanted to do it, now is the time. I guarantee you, you will have a better experience when it comes to gaming. I could never go back to a non-OLED monitor for my own gaming setup. Now, also, if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up because we greatly appreciate that and a huge thank you to msi for sending the monitor out for us to test and if you're interested in any other videos that we've done i recently made a awesome water-cooled pc here or if you're interested in the gaming setup behind me you can watch that video here and until next time guys we will catch you in the next one